ahead, carry. Go ahead, carry. Go ahead, carry. Tell them like this, boy. I've, look, I travel, so to me, going to Stamford, Connecticut is not exactly an excursion. No, today was bad, though. Yeah, but that has not. But you're not ready for the question of the day. Well, I you'll just, have to be. I just looked at it. It seems <laughs> kind of similar to two weeks ago. Oh, my God. He just Eerily at similar. It. No. Okay, well, this um, is. Okay. No, I looked at it this morning, and I forgot. And then, so I had to get reminded. Okay, so. But I would say. The way I have to let the people oh, know yo, what I the forgot, question I is. Might be, first. Might be. Yeah. The question is, if you had your own television show, what would it be called and what would be the premise? We're not going to start with you, Paul. We'll give you time to think about it and let it marinate. All right. I could answer right now. But, but you're not. We'll let Andre Jones. If you could have your own television show, what would it be called and what would be the premise of the show? I would say it would be Andre Jones Uncensored. That's oh, going to probably God. be the oh, no. that's probably yeah. gonna be the radio show. Later. Yeah, it'd be like. But the premise would be. I think it would be like watching Fox. <laughs> so, I, so, so much just, deeper. Well, no. Essentially, the premise of that show would be my take on a lot of modern current events and whatnot, aka probably me complaining and roasting people that I can't stand and trends I don't. Like. <sighs> Uncensored. <laughs> oh please! Goodness Politically gracious. correct's been out the window since 2003 for me. Oh, well, again. Okay. Kevon, same question. If you had your own television show and it wasn't Sessions Cafe, I'm sorry, I had to. Mm -hmm. the, our show has been in limbo longer than Clarence Thomas's sex life. I know that hurt. If you had your own television show, Kevon, what would it be called and what would be the premise? This, by the way, is a question that you posed to, the, to us all. So. Oh, yes, totally. It is a, it's one that I think about quite a bit. So I love uh, science and science communication especially. So my show, I've always been fascinated in Discovery Channel, stuff like that. I would want a show where, where I could teach kids that are interested in science like me all about like traveling the world. I would definitely want to do maybe a Nigel Marvin type thing where I travel the world, look at exotic animals, fossils, uh, ruins. Like we'll just cover all the history. We'll do like Kivon's History of the World. That'll be great. Okay. So a history television show of sorts. Yeah, informative okay. history TV show. Okay. Interesting. That would be the premise. We're waiting for you, Paul. What's, what is, now that we have, what is, what is your answer? If you had your own television show, what would it be called and what would be the premise? Well, I guess it would be called like maybe the Paul Dorsey experience or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's original. I don't really know what it would be about because as I said, I didn't really have a lot of time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I send these but emails out like, like 24 hours before we go You send them in like 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh, yeah, you have plenty of time. And then they go to the bottom of my the bottom. email list. But wow. I would probably say maybe it would be like a skit show or like an interview kind of show where I could just, um, I don't know, just do whatever. I could see Again, that. I didn't really have time to think of about it. Of course not. What else is new, right? Maybe like Spongebob. Is that what I said last week? I, that's... <laughs> That would that be no. That's not the same. That this would feels be, like the same. It's not. Topic. The, that question was, what TV show would you want to be in? Uh huh. I said the Brady Bunch. You said SpongeBob. This is <laughs> if you had your own show. Your All own right, TV SpongeBob. Show. Final answer. You would re remake SpongeBob. <laughs> I, that that the would the be the show. Paul Dorsey experience. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, if I had my own television show, what would it be called and what would be the premise? Um, so we tried a couple of years back the Kerry's Corner TV show. <laughs> Uh, I didn't really like that experience. <laughs> the producer of the show, who I will not name, basically wanted a television version of the radio show. Uh -huh. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to like take the, the radio show onto the street. Like I, I, I do it in the studio. So that wasn't, I didn't particularly care about the, the, I didn't, that wasn't my thing. Um, Sessions Cafe, which has been in limbo for a while, hint, hint. Um, that's more along my speed. I want to, uh, because here on the Curry's Corner Radio Show, we introduce, we inter we interview people of interest, right? Right. On the on the TV show, I would want to inter, I really would like to go into the subway or something and interview like a homeless person. Do I really would want to do more textured conversations? Mm -hmm. You know, less sensationalist stuff, and you know what I mean, like more. That sounds a lot like you, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean, because I do have a soul somewhere. <laughs> in there <laughs> it's, it's there I don't know Somewhere Okay 
So we're going to get into our New Jack segment here on Kerry's Corner, your new home for throwbacks and New Jacks. Let's go. Kerry's Corner will 